Ken, uh, perusing the uh, landscape here, we notice a lot of people working on a number of different problems, whether it be wheels and brakes or electrical or just plain safety wire exercises, and it's all a competition. Tell me what you're doing here because it sounds pretty intriguing. We're trying to raise the awareness level of the public for the many responsibility that today's aircraft mechanics carry, but not only the licensed mechanics, but the men and women that are in school that will eventually one day take the mantle of providing safe, airworthiness aircraft from those working today. And the events that you see today are just a small microcosm of the many responsibilities that we carry. And hopefully we're showing the public what they don't stop to think about that's taking place on the airplane that they're flying the night before. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. There are a few more critical functions in all of aviation and the folks that are keeping aircraft airworthy. Uh, this kind of competition looks kind of interesting, but obviously there's a, there's a modus operandi here. How are you judging it and what do you get out of uh, this type of evaluation? Well, the, the competi competition is structured to where each event is based on 20 minutes to complete. You're judged on total time used plus any penalties that the judges give you for any discrepancies you may have. You take the 11 events and the times that are used, you combine them, and the teams with the lowest combined scores will be awarded first, second, and third place. And it's promoting not only commercial or general aviation, but it's the entire craft, military, civil, uh, private, corporate. Uh, there's no difference between a mechanic working on a single-seat aircraft compared to a uh, Boeing 787. I'm trying to show the public that mechanics are responsible for all airplanes, whether or not it is piston or commercial. The commercial guy going through school, we were taught that. The general guy was taught that, and that's why it's a good uh, show of having all these students here, because they're showing that what they're being taught is the same thing we were being taught in the past. Well, give me a rundown of the skills that are being examined here. Uh, we're looking here at... Um, a microcosm of just some of the responsibilities which are like you mentioned the piston engine, the magneto timing, we have uh, the APU uh, inspection but we also have electrical and avionics troubleshooting because as the technology advances as rapidly as it is that is something that students and the current licensed mechanics are remaining lockstep in learning and passing on the knowledge of how to troubleshoot these advanced systems as those advances are put into the field, we want to show that to the public, showing them that the mechanics are indeed not staying in the past, but we're looking to the future of what our responsibilities are going to be, making sure we meet those responsibilities to make sure the aircraft remains safe. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. It's going to Las Vegas next year, mm -hmm. uh, March, and uh, next year, again, like I said, we're evolving. We'll have different categories. We'll have the military involved, we'll have general aviation, we'll have corporate, we'll have the schools in their own category, and we'll have the commercial guys as well. So we're looking to have about four different categories, and each category will have the specific task specified for that group. Who's competing now, though? Uh, this year we had nine groups. We had American Airlines, American Eagle, Continental Airlines. Mm -hmm. We had uh, four schools from the Aviation Industry of Maintenance. We had a school from Redstone, and we had a 
team of mechanics from the AMT Society chapter out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. The team captain is a, me a mechanic for American Airlines, and on his own, he went to the surrounding corporations in his area, sponsor a team, and he got a team of, of students to fly out here to Dallas to re help represent the future of our craft. The AMT Society is an organization that was created to be the voice of every aircraft mechanic out in the field, not only on the commercial side, but like I said, the general, commercial, civil, military. If there's a man or woman holding a wrench, repairing an aircraft, regardless of what sector, we want to be there to listen to your needs and hopefully listen to them and help achieve whatever you want to have accomplished to promote your craft. And finally, based on what you see here, how is the state of the industry? I think the state of the industry has a bright future. Uh, it's cyclic, as we all know, but I believe we've reached the bottom of that down cycle, and it's on the upswing. And by staying professional, like all mechanics have throughout time, from Charles Taylor to today, I see a bright future, especially with the students coming through. Um, they have that sparkle of romance in their eye, which needs to be returned to our profession. Outstanding. Thank you, Ken. Okay. Thank you very much, Jim.